Thank you, Lord. Colossians chapter 2. No guilt in life. We are in the verse number 11. No fear in death. Colossians chapter 2, the verse number 11. This is and I'm reading from the Amplified Bible. Colossians chapter 2, the verse number 11. That's where we are now. Colossians chapter 2, the verse number 11. From the Amplified Translation. It said, In Him. Also, you were circumcised with a circumcision, not made with hands, but in a spiritual circumcision performed by Christ, by stripping off the body of the flesh, the whole corrupt carnal nature with its passion and lust. Let me read other translations. The New Living Translation, Colossians 2 verse 11. When you came to Christ, you were circumcised, but not by a physical procedure. Christ performed a spiritual circumcision, the cutting away of your sinful nature. Hey, you know, Timothy is just vibrating. See, hey, where the pain is. You know, one of the things about God's word is that the word of God, okay, is likened to a mirror. A mirror. Okay, so when you get into the word, the word reveals your true identity and your true image. The word of God just reflects and gives you the true image of who you are. Now, in Colossians chapter 2, the verse number 11, the Bible says that when we came into Christ, something happened. There was a circumcision. That word, circumcision, was first of all introduced when God covenanted with Abraham. Okay? When God entered into the covenant with Abraham. Now, the sign, the outward evidence, the symbol, the token, the sign of the covenant was circumcision. Okay, I mean, you know what circumcision is. Is that not so? Okay, the cutting away of the foreskin. So, that was what Israel entered okay that was the evidence that israel was in covenant with god so every male child born in the house of abraham whether a servant bought or born was supposed to be circumcised so the circumcision was the outward evidence of the covenant now please listen before abraham circumcised the bible says that he believed god he believed god so abraham was justified before the circumcision came to place so when you accepted christ as your lord and savior when you made jesus the lord of your life the bible says that there was a circumcision that took place when christ came to live inside you it was not a physical circumcision like it happened in the days of abraham the circumcision that took place was that god took away the old nature it is called the adamic nature the sin nature that nature was taken out of you and there was a new nature that god gave to you that was the nature of god the nature of righteousness that was the nature that god gave to you and i so the day we accepted christ as our lord and savior our old nature the nature of sin the body of sins that nature that made us sin that made us condemned in the presence of god that nature was taken away and the bible calls it circumcision not made with hands the new living calls it not human procedure it was not done by humanity abraham's circumcision was done by man but the circumcision we have in christ it was done by christ himself so as i am speaking to you today if you are born again and a child of god the nature of sin is no longer inside you that is why sin cannot have dominion over your life that nature is gone that nature is taken away to find a breath come on here Jesus. but pastor kojo i i still sin no I, I still sin oh yes and i'm going to show you why you still sin <laughs> why you still sin let me read it again colossians chapter 2 verse 11 i'm reading from the new living translation when you came to christ 
you were circumcised but not by a physical procedure christ performed a spiritual circumcision the cutting away of your sinful nature the taking away the cutting away the removal of your sinful nature as i'm speaking to you now there is a new nature you have it is called the nature of righteousness uh -huh. the nature of christ ah. the nature of purity the nature of holiness nice. that is the new nature you have Till fine. now you remember yesterday i told you Jesus. that you know my my good friend okay dr Paul sent me a message that you know the baby okay the baby girl the baby girl has a womb she has everything so the baby girl is a complete you know human being complete that was yesterday when we studied now the old the sinful nature has been taken away but why do i still sin why do i still do the wrong thing number one because even though the sinful nature has been taken away and you don't have that nature by virtue of being in christ your mind your mind the day you got born again and accepted christ nothing happened to your mind the way you think your thought pattern the way you reason it is still the same so after you are born again and you have accepted christ as your lord and savior you are born again a spiritual baby okay it doesn't matter your age your age physically you may be 80 years old physically but the day you got born again you became a baby in christ so what do you do to babies what food does do babies take milk the bible says that as newborn babies desire the sincere milk of the word that you will grow thereby so god understands that even though the old nature has been taken away there is a growth required for you to be able to manifest your new nature if you are not growing as a christian if you are not growing even though the old nature the sinful nature has been taken away because you are not growing and your mind is not renewed by the word of god you are going to be dominated by sin you will still you will still be sinning and be messing up all over not because the nature has not been taken away but because you are not growing and your mind is not renewed by the word of god because everything we do every action every behavioral pattern everything we do is as a result of the way we think if your thinking is not consistent with the word of god your action cannot manifest the newness of life you have received your action cannot depict or express the new nature you have so after you are born again the major work that must be done on your life is called the renewing of your mind that is a lifetime process that is a lifelong process as long as you are on earth your mind must be continuously renewed that is the way to manifest the newness of life that is the way to manifest the new nature so even though you are born again and the old nature the sinful nature the adamic nature has been taken away if you don't grow and continuously grow and continuously renew your mind with the word of god you will be dominated by sin no fear in there that is number one number one you have to grow you are a baby you must grow number two the growth process is by the renewing of your mind okay now you will notice that listen you notice that this is the body talk you will notice that look it is the responsibility of parents to take care of babies babies cannot take care of themselves unfortunately some way somehow in the body of christ we tend to think that spiritual babies can take care of their own selves so there's a way we condemn them we, we look it doesn't matter how long you have been in church the length of days in church is not equal to spiritual growth let me repeat it again the length of days the number of years you have spent in church doesn't mean that you are growing spiritually come on here are you here with me the, the, 
the, the food, the spiritual food you are exposed to, the nutritious content of that food determines how healthy you grow as a Christian. In the same way, do you notice that, look, I mean, if you take two babies, Dr. Papa, help me, you will notice that one baby grows very well by, by virtue of the quality of meal that is fed to the baby. Anamibwa. Another baby is also not growing well, not because the baby is not growing, but if you look at the food they are giving to the baby, the nutrients is not well balanced. So it is not helping the development of the baby. But you go to another place and the baby is growing so well. Now, Aqualati SMA, you know, lactogen, you know, Aqualani Benyi, except, you know, by faith. Let me share this story with you. You know, my wife, my wife, our first daughter was born in London, okay? My wife was in school. She, she was there. And when the child came, you know, after the six months, you know, my wife started, my wife brought some food from London. You know, at the end of the credit, I mean, who be that? So far. You know, so I took the container, went to a, a supermarket in Tema. When I saw the price, this was in 2011, was I, when I saw the price, now I'm saying, hey, now Aqualá, way be this head, you know, me cry, me cry, me this head, you know, when I got home, the child was asleep. I laid hands on the child. Okay, your friend, uh, Fia, Phoebe, okay, she went do. Now I'm saying, in the name of Jesus, me sani koko anointing guso. Anointing ayedunum koko. Me sani guso. Look, church, people of God, from that day, my daughter rejected the, the, the SMA on the food. Na woman kokoa. Onum koko nisa. My wife said, hey, how come they chat like koko? Now I'm saying, olay. Guilty life. Olay ninja. Na, 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 sa, edu, sa, is kan, mikofa, eh. Na, me, me, ma, me, wo, me, oto, SMA, man. This is the power of Christ. Who the empeko go be no? When him ray. Till fine a Oh, oh, man, who is me? When you go, just come My destiny. You know, we walk by faith. No. No, if you are not careful, your babies will eat your salary. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Some of you must release, you know, Otin Shunu, you know, Kenke water. You must release it on your children. Release it on them. You know, when they see the lactogen, they will reject it. When they see the Kenke water, say, Kai, Madabradiada. What's the American way the SME? No. To Chrome have a pair SME. Now, one guy's out. Oh, mom, the SME crab out. You know how much they pay at the port. <laughs> Can I have a plan? Let's go ahead. Okay, so the quality feeding you are exposed to determines your growth. Okay, so it doesn't matter how long you have been in church. That is why sometimes you know people have stayed in church. Ah, but if you look at their character, then you are like, ah, but this woman has been, this man has been in church for long. It is not how long you have been in church. It is the quality feeding you are exposed to that determines your growth. So even though the sin nature has been taken away, if you are not renewing your mind, continuously renewing, and you are not feeding on the word of God, there is no way you will grow spiritually. Jesus commands my destiny. My God. Let's get to the word. So let me read Colossians chapter 2, the verse number 11. The Bible says that when you came to Christ, you were circumcised, but not by a physical procedure. Christ performed a spiritual circumcision, the cutting away of your sinful nature. So I want you to be conscious this morning that your sinful nature has been taken away. That that which made you sin, that which made you practice sin, that which made you sin has been removed. There is a new nature you have. It is called the nature of righteousness. If you read First John chapter 3, the verse number 7. First John chapter 3, the verse number 7. The Bible says that little children, be ye not deceived. He who practices righteousness is righteous. There is the imputed righteousness. That is what we receive by faith in Christ. But there is the practicing righteousness. That is what we do as a result of the imputed. The imputed righteousness is what empowers you to practice righteousness. Okay? So you must grow. 
the believer must grow the child of god must grow the other day paul wrote an epistle to the christian hebrews he said when by this time you should be teachers okay when by this time by this time of your christian life when you should be teachers do you still want somebody to take you through the elementary principles of christ again when by this time you should be teachers some of you have been in church for years okay but sometimes there are basic basic things you don't understand you don't understand the difference between the baptism of the holy ghost and the infilling of the holy ghost you don't understand the doctrine of baptism you don't understand the principles of faith the principles of giving and receiving the principles of soul winning now paul was worried now look at what he wrote to the church in corinth let's go to the book of first corinthians let's look at first corinthians let's go to first corinthians Jesus. are you are you learning something first corinthians go with me to first corinthians chapter number three no first corinthians chapter number three okay we're reading from the verse number one first corinthians chapter three from the verse number one first corinthians chapter three from the verse number one and i read he said and i brethren could not speak to you as to spiritual people from love now Paul writes an epistle to the church in Corinth. He said, look, all of you, can you imagine? The whole church. He said, I couldn't speak to you as to spiritual people. That means that an entire church, including the pastor, they can be carnal. Are you getting it? They can be, look, listen to me. Please listen. The fact that I am preaching here doesn't mean I am a mature Christian. The evidence of Christian maturity is in the fruit I produce. The evidence of a matured tree or a product is in the fruit now paul was writing to the church in Corinth. he said look i couldn't speak to you as to spiritual okay he said but as to canal canal they were body root they were canal their mind was not renewed they were fleshy they were governed by their flesh they were canal they were born again they were born again please listen they were born again they had accepted christ as their lord and savior but their state their state was carnality they were carnal paul said i couldn't talk to you as to spiritual that means that look the epistle that paul wrote to the church in corinth it could have been better than this it could have been stronger and deeper than this but because of the state of the believers in uh, in corinth paul had to bring the message down he had to water it down just for them to be able to understand he said i couldn't talk to you as one to spiritual i spoke to you as carnal christians you were carnal body root okay body root they were carnal now look at it let's go ahead then he said you i, I as to babies in christ so one of the characteristics of babies in christ is that they are carnal okay babies in christ they are very carnal okay that's where you hear and this one has fornicated and this one has then you know a carnality those are signs of carnality they are babies in christ they are in christ so they are born again but they are babies and i told you that your physical age doesn't matter you may be 90 years old but you are a baby in christ you are carnal okay canal and listen to the word canal canal it's like it's like a path you must go out of it you go out of canality you move out into spirituality it's a canal 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 that is it you don't dwell there a canal is a path is that also it gives you access into something so you go out of it don't dwell there don't remain a canal christian grow into spirituality now look at it he said he said verse 2 first corinthians chapter 3 verse 2 he said i fed you with milk and not with solid food do you see that paul is telling them that look i was teaching you milk the things i was teaching you they were milk i wanted to give you solid food but i realized that no you can't take it it is like a baby okay can you give a two-month-old baby uh uh banku and tilapia no can you give a one-month-old baby fufu and uh a benkwai? So, so but you give the baby milk so paul said that look i fed you with milk there is the milk of the word he said i didn't feed you with solid food there is the solid food of the word okay and one of these days i'm going to preach to you the meat of the word the solid food of the word i'm going to preach to you the wine of the word the wine the wine of the word okay he said for until now you were not able to receive it and even now you are still not able look at it they were not able and even still now they are still not able 
they are former state they are current state they are former state they are current state do you know that sometimes in football okay the person is a footballer but Timo sometimes they say oh only form he, he is not he is not in form it doesn't mean he's not a footballer but his current state is not good he's not in form he's not in shape Paul says that look I tried feeding you with milk you couldn't take it even now you still cannot take it then he goes ahead and says he said verse 3 he said for you are still canal now look at what he's telling the church he said look Corinthian Christians you are still you are still canal. then he begins to describe the characteristics of canality one more time he said for where there are envy 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 there are strife there are divisions among you are you not canal and behaving like mere men for when one says i am of paul and another says i am of apollo are you not canal oh as for me i me i like this uh, you know i am i like this man of god me i don't like this man of god me i like this pastor me i don't like this pastor you are canal we are hunam is the, is the division say paul says that look when you say me i'm of paul and me i'm of apollo are you not still canal he said you are canal we are hunam you are canal stop saying look i like this i like that. you are canal we are hunam okay we are hunam you are canal okay me me i like this man me i don't like this man you are can we are it is human hunam hunam we are hunam let's go back to Colossians chapter 2 Colossians chapter 2 we're in the verse number 12 Colossians 2 12 he said you were buried with him in baptism now he is actually introducing the doctrine of baptism the word baptism is the Greek word baptize to okay that means to be immersed okay to be immersed now please listen there was a reason for the sprinkling of water okay there was a reason in the dark ages of the church where they were hiding in caves and undergrounds to worship god they couldn't publicly proclaim the lordship of christ so they were hiding so they had to find a way to baptize the new convert that was one of the major reasons why the baptism of sprinkling came about okay but the true meaning of baptism is to be immersed to be immersed and the reason for baptism is because it is the outward demonstration of your identification with the the, the crucifixion the death the barrier and the resurrection of christ so get this picture clear when you get into the water okay that is the death when you are immersed in the water that is the barrier when you are brought out of the water that is the resurrection so baptism is the public okay the the out the public you the, the public identification with the death the burial and the resurrection of christ so paul is telling the church in Corinth that you were buried with him through baptism okay in which you were raised with him through faith in the working of god who who raised him from the dead so that is the doctrine he is teaching that look when you are baptized it is the public evidence of your identification with the death the burial and the resurrection of christ i said when you enter the water that is the death when you are immersed in the water that is the burial when they bring you out of the water that is the resurrection colossians chapter 2 the verse number 11 and the verse number 12 and in the verse number 13 we'll continue from tomorrow the lord bless you this morning if you don't know jesus as your lord and savior that is where it begins from you want to receive him as the lord of your life he gave his life for you he loves you he still loves you that is why he came to die for you and i this morning you want to receive him as the lord of your life you want to say with me the lord jesus thank you for dying for me this morning i receive you and i accept you as my lord and savior and i declare that i'm born again thank you lord jesus hallelujah amen and amen all right the lord bless you